Well, yes, I mean, there was a certain sense of freedom on the carry-on sets, you see. And Gerald Thomas, the director, he had such a warm and friendly personality that you, you certainly felt that you could, you know, be outrageous. And I most frequently was. I remember one time when we were doing a love scene, and during this love scene I actually broke wind, you see. And um, they suddenly shouted, Cut! Cut! You know, we can't use that. That fart's on the soundtrack. And um, Joan Sims, who was wearing this silk grandeur, she was playing a duchess or something, she said, Oh, where well, are you expected to make love to someone when they're blowing off? It's disgraceful. And I said, Oh, don't talk such rubbish. Everybody's human. We're all human. We're all vulnerable. Even Valentino blew off, and Gerald Thomas, the director, he said, yes, but they were silent films, you see. And I thought that was a wonderful remark, you know, very accommodating and deserved at the same time. And I remember this other time when I was doing a show with Dame Edith Evans, you see, and we'd opened in, um, in Brighton to, um, to terrible reviews. And um, we were going home in the taxi cab, back to the same hotel where we were staying. And she turned to me and she said, uh, Did you receive any notes after the show? And I said, yes, I got one or two notes about the second act, you know. I said, did you get any notes? And she said, yes. They said that Hardy Amos has designed some very regal costumes. And you should look equally regal in them. Do you, do you think that was justified? And I said, well, anyone who comments on your deportment, that's uh, tantamount to impertinence. And she said, oh, you are a very pleasant young man, and there is no reason why the right girl should not come along. And you see, she thought that marriage and um, meeting the right lady was, was reward for virtue, you see. But we got back to the hotel and we were greeted by this old fart of a, of a night porter. And um, he showed us into the restaurant where there was just uh, like a single plate of uh, some cold ham and some curling lettuce under a tin, tin cover. And um, he, he said to Dame Edith, he said, uh, your partner in crime has gone to bed, you know, she's had her grub, but um, she had a glass of wine with hers. Uh, would you like anything with yours? And she said, uh, yes, uh, half a bottle of Beaujolais would not go amiss. And he said, um, yes, well, I, I thought you would say that, so I've got something in the sideboard for you here. And as he bent over, he eradicated, and uh, he let off this god-awful sound, and this fart just rang out. And um, Dame Edith Evans, she turned to me and she said, Do you know, this place has gone off terribly. And um, another thing that happened was uh, the opening night in London, we'd just finished the show and the curtain was coming down, and, and it was terrible bombardment from the gods. And she turned to me and she said, Well, I heard one bravo. And I said, No, it wasn't a bravo, it was a go home.